All righty then. Connecticut is bracing for another invasion of gypsy moth caterpillars. Last year, they did a ton of damage to trees in the southeastern part of the state. Yeah, it was tough, but the wet spring, heavy rain we're expecting tomorrow may actually provide a little bit of help. News 8's Tina Detail explains. Last summer was very bad, and a lot of the trees, they ate all the leaves. It was like, looked like winter. Lorraine Healy is worried about what this year will look like. Already tiny gypsy moth caterpillars crawl on her mailbox, and they grow a lot bigger. As you can see from these pictures she took last year, they covered her shed and her trees, like this one. Kind of hoping it might come back, but I don't think so. Healy sits on an ad hoc committee formed to tackle this pesky problem. She shows us one of the home remedies, which uses duct tape to protect a neighbor's tree. She will be ground spraying to control the caterpillars. Because this would be the third year, and it's quite possible it'll kill the trees would uh, die. And that could be dangerous and expensive. Many tower over her ledgered home. Not to sound emotional, it's stressful because they're gross and disgusting and trying to get in your house and not have them get in your house. There are also health concerns. I'm not allergic, but it was even bothering me. Because these caterpillars are so small right now, you actually have to look at light-colored objects like this mailbox to actually see them. But be sure, if they're there... They're all around here. At Aikido Farm, you can see them on the recycle bin and in the soil. Where they're coming from is they're falling off of that tree. Robert Burns sprays them with dish soap and water. His farm is organic. Hopefully, uh, Mother Nature has a hand in this and will give us a hand in neutralizing. He's hoping Friday's rains help create a fungus which will kill the caterpillars, but in heavily infested areas, many are still expected to survive. In Ledger, Tina Detell, News 8.